So students, we're going to continue today with our lecture of invitations. So the other day I had given you an idea what invitations are like. And so now today let us draft an invitation. So if you remember here, what are the formal invitations? Yes, formal invitations like an institution, an organization, and basically any uh, function, all right, for which you are going to send out the printed cards or you have formal letters being sent. So that is for your formal invitation, okay? Informal invitation is for your friends and relatives, okay? Where you are very comfortable with them on a personal gathering here. Yeah. So this, uh, as the name suggests here, this is for a formal gathering and thereby we have formal invitations for that, okay? So now write uh, as, uh, Write down the question, please, and we'll form the invitation. Write in the question, as the principle of say, Silver Oaks School, Ambala. Write down the question, as the principle of Silver Oaks School, Ambala, draft an invitation inviting parents to attend the annual prize distribution function. Did you write the question? Yes, so you have to draft an invitation. So as I told you, so please remember what are the things you have to do about invitations. We're going to do formal invitations as well as informal invitations. Formal invitations, drafting the, the invitation, that is making the invitation, right? Then when we made the invitation, we will also reply to it. So when we reply to it, I can accept the invitation. I can also decline that. So similarly for informal invitations, right? So three things about all of them that we have to do. So it is not a small topic that we have to discuss. There's a lot we have to discuss about invitations. Okay, so this here, as I told you, what are the things that you have to remember when you write invitation? What are the things that you have to keep in mind? Yes, who's the person who sends out the invitation? Can I get responses, please? Who's the person who will send out the invitation? That is the host. Then there is a guest, the invitees, right? Then we have, there has to be a date, time, venue, and of course, most importantly, an occasion. These are the things that you need to remember when you make your invitations. Okay, right. So now all of you, uh, it's a short writing skill, that invitation. And what I say is, please put the invitation in a box. Do that, please. Do that. Okay. Then what do we write at the top? It is a school invitation. Okay, so who is there? The principal is there sending out the invite, right? And along with the principal, it is the staff and the students. Okay, right? So please write down. Right? Are you writing along with me? Give me yes or no. Yes, are you? Okay, that's good. So we'll say the principal. Can you see the blackboard? Is it visible? Staff and students of what's the name of the school? What's the name of the school here? Yes, of Silver Oaks School. Right? Written this? Request the pleasure of your company. Right? On the K 
Classification of the fifth annual prize district. Okay, can you see it? Is it visible? Yeah, it is. Right? Okay. On 29 January 22 at 4 p.m. In the school premises. Abhi hai, what have we noticed? What are the things that we have noticed? That this is one sentence here. Okay, I started from here till here. Okay, and in the school premises. What have we got? What information have we got? Who's the host? Right? What is the occasion? I have given the date, time, and the venue. Okay. Now I am going to give more information. Okay. Right. Because it is a school function, it's an annual prize distribution, and you can use different form of writing. You can write in a cursive over here, you can write capitals over here. Because we need to make our invitation attractive and presentable. Okay, right? So this way you are going to write it. Is this clear? Is, it, is this uh, blackboard clear to you all? Okay, now here I am going to give you more information that is, you can say any name I have made, let's say. Mr. Kailash. Okay, right. Okay, I've given these instructions over here. If I want to, I can write this in capital also. Right? Okay. Right. So I give an IS, I can give a designation, say he's the okay. and yes, here after giving this, I will say if I want to give any more instruction here, parents are requested to be seated by 30. I can give that also here. Right? I think if the program is overleaf, any dress code I want to give, okay, that formal dress, I will give a service, uh, uh, switch off your mobiles during the function. So any kind of instructions which I want to give, I can give that also. Okay. Right? So most importantly, yes, parents are requested to be seated by 3.30 p.m. Okay? Now here, after this, I will give about, as I told you, there is who are we going to reply to, who are we going to contact, okay? I will give the name of, it can be both here, I can give the principal, president, chairman, okay, right? So you can give the phone, you know, like it could be zero, like a quarter. Eight two nine eight seven any phone number. Okay, here also I I can give any other number of another authority. I can give of the chairman. I can give of the president. Right? I can give that phone number over here. Okay, is this clear to you all? Is it clear? So when I write my invitation. I will make sure that there is, so there is no 
conclusion that I can read it, so all the remaining things so that we can just have a look at the invitation only. So is this clear? Is it visible to all of you? Please let me know. So give me a yes or no. Yes, Udit, Nandini, Lagan, is it clear to you all? Have you written it? Have you noted it? Right? So I have in my invitation, yes, very nice. Okay, thank you. So what is it that I have? I have the name of the host. Yes. I have the name of the guest. Even the parents are requests the pleasure of your company. The guests are also, right? The parents are also guests. Then, of course, as I told you about the date, time, venue, occasion, all that I have mentioned over here. Here at the end, I have given contacts, right? Who to correspond, contact, who to talk to, right? Okay. Yes, so if you want here, now what you will notice here, please note that one thing when you write an invitation, it will not be in the form of a paragraph, right? It will not be here, it's uh, not necessary that everything here should be like this. So I start with it goes here, 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 right back to the so if you just write in your invitation, you make this invitation and you just write lines over here. So it will not be an appropriate invitation. So your presentation matters a lot. Okay, right? Clear? Yes? Now this is one way of writing an invitation. Have you noted it? Have you noted it? Please let me know. Yes? Have you noted it? Yeah. Okay, please write this down. So as you write it down, you get a practice also of how to write it. Okay. Now this is one invitation. We can do another invitation. Right? Note this down fast. So I'll start with the next invitation. So I, I'll just make that invitation over here, a big one. So everything will be much clearer to you. Fine. Note this down. Can I start with another one? Okay, now this invitation involves about a school function. Now, if it is about, so you, you've seen the, the cards for marriages and receptions and all, so you've been getting those, right? So this time also, when you get an invitation, take a good look at it and just see what the format is, right? And when you have invitations which are sent out to a big gathering, it is not necessary that the name of each guest is mentioned individually, right? So what is mentioned here, like of course, like in the school uh, invitation, the name of the chief guest is very clearly highlighted and very clearly mentioned, okay? Right, now here, let us talk about if it is about an inauguration, right? So uh, please write this invitation now. So write down the question, say, as the manager of, as the manager of, say, any uh, shop we can talk about. Yes, just a name, anyone? Okay, as the manager of uh, Titan, Titan, Punjab, or North Region, draft an invitation informing the public of the opening of the new showroom at uh, Model Town, Jalandhar. Okay, right, so as the manager of title, draft an invitation informing the public about the opening of their new showroom at Model Town, Jalandhar. Okay, right. Now here, this is the invitation for that. What are we going to write here? So as I say, for all your short writing skills, what do you have to make? Yes, what is it that you have to make in your short writing skills? 
there is this box that you have to make. Okay, right? I don't know what is it about. What are the things I know? I know it is for title and present as the manager, right? So talking about Jalandhar and what else do we know? We're talking about Okay, right? So it is a new outlet. Okay, okay. So they are starting this outlet here in Jalandhar. Okay. So these are the things. This is the information here. So I'm going to put it in a proper invitation box. Okay. Right. So who's the host here? How do we start invitation? We put one invitation. Take a look at it. What do I write at the top? Yes. So I, I, I can say the right. So the management and staff of title would be uh, what? Uh, yeah. Body my you. to the inauguration right, of new outlet at So SCO it would be 337B model town on say 19th Jan 2022. At eleven a.m. Right? Is it still? Is it still? Yes. Then uh, I can give here any information I want to be the chief guest. Right? Uh, so you can say Mr. A B C will be the chief guest. Right? The dialogue about the celebrity. I don't get carried away, write something practical, logical, okay, right, so the celebrity here is going to inaugurate, you can also give about, yes, and opening it, so yeah, so you can uh, see it, right, uh, so 15% special discount for visitors, right, Hi. Then, yes, RSVP. Who is it? Who is it? We have, as I said, about the, the manager you can talk about here. It is give the contact, right? So you give his number and you can talk about to say whatever the phone numbers. Is this clear to you all? Have you noted this down? Yes. So one invitation we have done about a school function. This is also, it's about, yes, it's a formal invitation and uh, right inviting the public here, okay? Right, so what are the things that you have noticed here? Please notice that, yes, it is just one long sentence here, right? I have not written a paragraph. You can use various ways of writing a capital and a percent and where you want to give important information. Naturally, your invitation has to be very, very clear, very attractive, right? Attractive, of course, you're not going to decorate the borders and things like that, but yes, your presentation has to be very neat and uh, clear, okay? Right, after this comes, yes, we will give in the name here, it's RSVP, who are we supposed to reply to, who are we supposed to 
contact if we want more information or you want to give our um, contribution here. Okay, right? Or any other information that you want about this uh, function, right? So here on the left side and on the right side as well, you write about the people who you want to contact. I mean, about the manager. I can also write down the name of the director if I want to, right? So, yes, so here, once again, the whole number, whatever it is that you can write down. Is this clear to all of you? Yes. So, as I asked you the other day also, I want you to make a separate notebook, right? For English, we have all the writing skills and formats where you'll be doing all the questions that I have given you. Okay? Right? Is this clear? Have you been these two today? Yes? And uh, in the next period, I'll also tell you about how to write a formal invitation to inviting the person as a chief guest. Okay? Right? Fine? So yes, of course, like in the previous letter, it was that, see, I have sent an invitation to the parents telling them who is the chief guest. But before this, one step that is there, I will be writing personally to the chief guest, requesting him to be available to be a, a give away the prizes or to inaugurate the showroom, right? Or to give a speech or to interact, right? Whatever the occasion, whatever the function is. Is this clear to you? Is it clear to everybody? Have you noted down? Any doubts, any questions? Anything you'd like to ask? Yes? Would you like to show me your notebooks that you have written neatly and clearly? Have you noted down? Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, 